Hey everybody, Joe from Volton. We're going to go over a uh, mid-drive motor, um, well, mid-drive component upgrade on uh, a uh, bicycle that's running a BBS HD. Uh, here we have a 9-speed with uh, well over a thousand miles on it. Looks like it's been stained in the same two or three gears, so they're looking pretty sharp. Um, it's not totally trash, but with the amount of power that comes out of the motor, I don't think these are standing up. She's um, experiencing a lot of chain jumping and not really staying in gear. So chain's pretty much stretched out. We're just uh, doing a little maintenance on the wheel right now. Um, next clip will be next to the bike and taking a look at the other hardware for, uh, you know, the maintenance or upgrade when you're, when you're ready to do it. So um, next clip will be next to the bike. So here we are with the original equipment. Um, here's your BBS um, mid-drive motor hanging from the bottom bracket shell of the frame. Uh, stock steel ring is going to be replaced. Chain is stretched, that's going to be replaced, and that cassette is going to be replaced as well. Um, that hub's a little crunchy, so that's gonna get uh, cleaned up and greased, and we're gonna get this wheel true. So be liberal with the grease um, without getting into too much detail. The axle comes out and allows you to access bearings. Uh, those come out, everything gets cleaned as best as you can. You can even use a solvent to, to break up some grease and pull that out. Uh, bearings have been repacked. Uh, everything's fastened down and now it's ready for a cassette. All right, so we've got all the new gear on there, chain ring, aluminum upgrade, chain, rear mechanical, 46 to 11 tooth, nine speed cassette, and we have solved the jumping chain problem. Sometimes you just have to start from a fresh batch of hardware. That 30 amp BBS HD controller throws out a lot of power. You know, in 2,000 miles, she had, you know, teeth worn down, chain stretched out, and she just could not hold that chain on. It was jumping between gears basically constantly, no matter what we did. So we just had to take everything off, put some new stuff on, and there you have it. Sometimes you just got to get the wallet out and get new gear on there. We also put a shift sensor on there to kind of help her uh, keep this around for a little bit longer. Um, you know, when you, when you shift those mid-drive motors and not time it correctly with easing up on pedaling, uh, it's just unloading the chain and then ripping it. I believe this thing throws out about 150 newton meters, so much more uh, torque on the system than uh, what these bicycles are normally seeing and these bike parts are normally seeing, I should say. So uh, there it is installed. Looking forward to giving this bike back to a customer and having everything working right. Thanks for checking it out. Enjoy the ride.